In problem number 39 of section 2.3, we're going to evaluate a somewhat complicated looking integral. Um, and we're going to do this by remembering, rather than using Riemann sums, we're going to remember that the definite integral is just the area under the graph of the integrand and the x-axis. So if we look at the integrand, which is the square root of 25 minus x squared, we see that if we set, well, y equals square root of 25 minus x squared, which is always going to be greater than 0, uh, since the square root will always be 0, or greater than 0. Um, now if we square both sides and move the x to the left-hand side, we get the familiar formula for a circle centered um, at the origin of radius 5. Um, of course, now since y is greater than 0, we're only looking at positive values. So it'll just be the upper semicircle. Um, but in the integrand, we're actually um, shifting this by 4. Um, so this is really plus 4. Um, so what we're doing is just taking the... Um, taking the semicircle of radius 5, upper, upper semicircle of radius 5, and just shifting it up by 4. Alright, so negative 5 over here, 5. So the graph will look roughly like this um, on this interval, but we're looking for the area between um, negative 5 and 5, which is um, this entire area under the graph. So we can find the area of the top part. Well, that's just 1 half times the area of the circle. So 1 half uh, pi times the radius squared, which is 25. And then we need to add um, this, add the area of the rectangle, which is, has uh, base 10 and height 4, so plus 40. So we see that um, this definite integral is just equal to 25 pi over 2 plus 40. 